light bearer. Okay. Son of the morning. Okay. How art thou cut down to the ground? Right. He's cut down to the ground. Come on. Which did is weaken the nation. I see Esau weaken the nation. How did he weaken the nations? Like Hiroshima and Nagasaki. He dropped the bomb on them, dropped the atomic bomb on them and weakened them. But the Japanese came back and got them financially. Now that they beat them in business, they buying up a lot of the American corporations and putting them under Japanese money. All right, go ahead. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, and I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Esau said, I will ascend up into heaven. I will exalt my, my throne above the stars of God with their space programs. All right, even with their planes and their different uh, fancy stealth fighters and different things. They put themselves on the level of the most high. Right, come on. I will also sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Right. They would control the land of Israel. They would control the original people of Israel and they would control the whole world. Right, come on. I will also ascend above the heights of the cloud. They said, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Go ahead. And I will be like the most high. Right. Esau said, I will be like the most high. From the time of the Tower of Babel up until now. Man has always thought they can go up into the realm of the most high and be like the most high. Right. Hell, damn, they'd be the most high if they could. Oh. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Thou shall be brought down to hell. Yeah, you're going to be brought down to hell. Me know what? That, that also symbolizes no matter how much Esau tries to exalt himself, no matter how much power and position he's getting in society, he's still going down in captivity. He's going down to the sides of hell. Right, come on. To the sides of the pit. To the what? To the sides of the pit. Right, that hell and that pit represents captivity. So no, no matter what position the so-called white man got in this society, no matter how high he get in this world, he's going to be brought down to captivity. Right to hell and the pit. Good. They that see me shall not only look upon thee. And that also represents how Esau gonna start to lose his power in these last days. And they that see him gonna not only look upon him. Good. And consider, saying, is this the man? They gonna say, is this the man? Good. That made the earth to tremble. That made the earth to tremble. Come on. That did shake kingdoms. That what? That did. Kingdoms? This man shook up kingdoms. Is this the man that caused the earth to tremble that did shake kingdoms? God, that made the world as a wilderness. That did what? That made the world as a wilderness. Right. He went everywhere, raped, robbed, conquered, destroyed, took over, put a U.S. embassy all over the damn planet. All right, come on. And destroyed the cities thereof. That did what? And destroyed. The cities thereof. And Esau would have destroyed the cities thereof through warfare. All right, directly or indirectly. If he's not the one that's orchestrating the war or fighting the war directly, he's fighting it by proxy. He's supplying the weapons and he's causing attention. All right, he's stirring up the war. Right, come on. But open up the house of his prison. What's that movie with um, Don Cheadle? Um, about uh, all them killing, slaughtering all those people in Africa. Hotel Rwanda. Uh, Hotel Rwanda, right? right? When you read, um, there's a good movie too. Right. When you read, and in that movie, um, remember we always bring it out. Uh, Nick Nolte, he told him, "You're not even a nigger." Right. In that movie, let you know that they know there's a difference between him and Judah. Right. In that movie, he told he told Don Cheadle. Oh uh, man, you're not even a nicker. Right. And what was Nick Nolte saying? Nick Nolte was actually saying that, look, some of us white supremacists, we look at you Africans as lower than a nigger. Right. We look at you Africans as beneath even a nigger. Because Nick Nolte told him, you're not even a nicker. Because <laughs> right. let you know, Hollywood know the difference between Ham and Judah. That's right. All right, but in that movie, when you watch the, when you go at the end of the movie, when you go to the credits, they tell you the, the Tutsis and the Watsus or whoever the hell, them two Hamite tribes will slaughter each other. But it tells you the first 10,000 Hamites that was killed was killed by the French military and intelligence. They're the ones that started the war. And then they blamed it on the other Hamites and started internal wealth warfare amongst them. But the first slaughterers and killings was the Edomites. It was Esau that started the whole damn war. 
So a lot of times, even though Esau may not be fighting directly, he'll start the war, he'll trigger the war, then he'll supply both sides with weapons and then have to kill each other. Mm -hmm. So he made the earth a wilderness and destroyed the cities on that level also. Come. Like, come on. And they that see thee shall daily look upon thee and consider, saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble? Like, you're gonna see that Esau is nothing, man. Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? I remember he dropped the bomb on the Japanese. Had everybody shook. Right. All right, come on. That did shake kingdoms. That did what? That did shake kingdoms. That did shake kingdoms. All right, is this the man? Why? Because you're going to look at him and see he's nothing. And Jake going to be exalted in that day. Everybody going to see that we the salt of the earth. Hey, they already know we the salt of the earth. That's why they're so jealous and envious of us, man. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. That made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened up the house of the prisoners. Right, he didn't open the house of the prisoners, right? How got Jake all locked up, oppressing Jake, giving Jake football numbers. All right, damn, Edomites got to come up with a with an innocence project. Right. A damn innocence project to let uh, uh, Jake out of jail. How they just, just let Bill Cosby out. Why? Right, because they hate Jake. They know we're the salt of the earth. They know we do everything the best, man. We're the, we're the greatest people on the planet. Man. That's right. All right, so they know that. To put that old man in jail like that with no evidence of him raping or sexually assaulting any women. All Bill Cosby said was yes. Everybody in Hollywood at that time took drugs, had sex, and party. That's all Bill Cosby really said. Right. He said everybody was doing it though. Everybody was taking drugs. All right, give me Psalms 35 and 11. But you hate niggas so much. That's why I was bringing it out in front of the White House. That's why Cosby came out free and then Trump's homeboy went in handcuffs. Right. The most I reversed it to piss the white supremacists off. Oh, that nigger got out, but a white man has to go to jail? You right. damn right. right. I'm like, the Lord ratcheted it up and made it even speed. Right. Psalms 35 and 11. This is Psalms chapter 35 and verse 11. And you give me uh, Matthew 7 and 13. Read. First witnesses did rise up. They laid to my charge things that I knew not. Yeah, it was like, Cosby was like, well, y'all just asked to talk to me. How does that turn into a 10-year conviction? Right. Because you're the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. That's why when when Cosby's lawyers, when they when they put in, when they, when they submitted that information, they had to let the man go. Right. Even Esau's criminal, wicked justice system couldn't hold a man. Right. Like, look, you got to let the man go. You, this, is, this is a travesty of justice. And then you got Sambo and Coon Negroes talking about I don't know if it's a victory for black people now. I don't know if we need to be celebrating. Right. Like even Fat Joe. Fat Joe came out and was like, well, all these women can't be lying. All these women can't be lying. And then our brother Tariq went on a good point. He said, well, if they're all being represented by the same law firm, uh. of course they all gonna have the same story. Uh, they uh, can coast on the same story. Right. So he G-checked Fat G and Fat Joe was like, look, the, the reason why they all saying the same thing because they've been coached to say the same thing because they're being represented by the same law firm and legal team. Uh, all right, so let Cosby live, man. The man is in his 80s, <clears throat> damn near blind. Let the man go and live his life, man. Whatever, how many more years the most I will let him have on this earth? But you had to do that, man. Your white supremacy would not allow anything different because you're the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's and you're right. jealous and envious of us, man. Right. Because we do everything the best. Talking about uh, uh, back back years ago, Eminem is the king of rap. Right, right. Eminem ain't right. the king of nothing, man. Right. He's the king of homosexuality right. and raping and and, and and talking about all kinds of... When you really listen to the man rhymes, he talks about all kinds of perverted and sick things, man. Right, right. He's the king of rap, man. He's no king. Nobody can rap better than Jake, man. Right. The hell out of here. You see that brother, um... That brother rhymes for 10 minutes damn straight, man. Uh, on, on a black front flex fleet. A black thought, man. The man freestyled for 10 damn minutes straight. Right. The, uh, what's the name? Uh, RZA said he could make a beat in five minutes. The man said I could make a beat in five minutes and it'll be a hit song. Five minutes I could go behind a board and produce a beat. You dead, Edie. You devils ain't the king of nothing, man. Uh -huh. You tried to throw Eminem in there and uh, make him. Your, 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 uh, uh, that's what he said on, um, that that um song one one lose yourself. He said, uh, "Make me king as we go towards a new world order." Uh -huh. That was part of Esau's new world order agenda to make the white man the king of rap, but it didn't work. 
He had his little time, but that devil faded out, man. You gonna put him on BET with 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 um um with uh, Black Thought and Most Death. He didn't put no damn Eminem with no Black Thought and Most Death. Uh. And then if, when you listen to Eminem rhyme, he talked about raping somebody and and mom. killing his mom. And I meant you something. When you watch that BET cipher, when when he's on there with um, Black Thought and Most Death, the man said in one of his bars, he's a wolf and she's clothing. The man said it in one of his bars. And then the man said, if uh, uh, if I rape you, you'll like it. And man, just pervert it, man. But he's the king of rap. Get the hell out of here, man. You put him up there with two brothers like Most Def and Black Thought, that devil can't. He can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Right. He gonna rob some perverted ill stuff, but he ain't got the skills like Jake, man. Right. All right, read what you got. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate. 7-11. Yeah. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 11. Bring it out. If ye then be evil, I want um, ye the salt of the earth. Five, that's five. All right, give me Matthew's five, the salt of the earth. We the salt of the earth, man. Talking about some Eminem is the king of damn rap, man. Right. Man, man, uh, uh, I mean the man is the man is okay for a white boy. Right. All right, five thirteen. Yeah, I thought it was seven thirteen. Yeah, five thirteen. He's okay for a white boy. He ain't no goddamn king of rap, man. Oh, Get the hell out of here. Brothers up there freestyling nine, ten minutes out of time, man. Right. No, not not even taking a break. Just going straight. That that dude that used to be down with um, what was that that cat used to be down with uh, Meek Mill, Little Snoop, that young dude. That dude right he he round for nine minutes straight. Right. Young brother like eighteen years old before Meek sacrificed him. I believe Meek Mill sacrificed him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you know, in, in other words, Esau, you ain't beating Jake in no rap, man. Right. Get the hell out of here. You out of your damn mind. Read. This is Matthew chapter five verse thirteen. Ye are the salt of the earth. What Lord say? Ye, Ye are, are the salt of the earth. earth. The salt of the earth. That's why they hate you, man. That's why they lock up uh, brothers like Bill Cosby and lie on them. Right, good. Huh? But if the salt have lost his savior, see. But the problem with a lot of you Negroes, you know what? Like Cosby, OJ, um, what's the other brother? Um, Terry Crews. What happens is a lot of times the Lord gives these Negroes a reality check because they get too comfortable with Esau. Right. You know what I'm saying? They get to, um, Cosby thought he was down. Right. He had all white women around him. Hollywood accepts me. They gave him the title of America's dad. Right. So he, he oh, you know I'm upset. And a lot of times the Lord gives him a reality check. Right. Right, just like Michael Jackson. Remember Michael Jackson in one of the interviews, the man broke down crying and said, why are they doing this to me? Because right. you're a nigga. Right. Under all that bleak skin, skinny right. nose, uh, turning from a, uh, a, a Negro with an afro to a white woman that still don't get you accepted, Michael. Because right. under all that, you're still a nigger. Right. You're still a nigger. Under all of that, he got the nerve to cry and say, why are they, why are they doing this to you, Michael? Because right. they hated your ass from day one. Right. For you was that little talented boy on stage. They hated you from then. Right. They used you to make billions of dollars, but they hated your guts. All right, come on. But if it, but if the soul have lost his savior, if the salt have lost his savior, God, wherewith sh shall it be salted? Come on. If there that's well, if there's for good for nothing. Uh, read, read it again, read it right to the time. It is dead for good for nothing. It is dead for good for nothing, man. If the salt not the say if we don't know who we are as a people, if we're not practicing the laws of Yahweh by Shemashiak Yabashai, we're good for nothing. Huh? You just exist on this earth. Your, your your dead body shall lie in the street of the great city. Right. Right? Terry Terry Crews getting his rod grab. Yeah, Terry Crews getting his rod grab. Yeah. Oh, the white man said you accept it, all right? Right. If I can grab your rod, you accept it. Right. And that was listen. Terry Crews should be he should be having twenty five to life right. Right. Now. That's God. a body right there. Right. God. That is a body right there. Ain't no grown man. I don't give a damn who you are. I don't give a damn if you big six foot the nigga. You just gonna have to kill me then. Right. Like Jake said in the street, I'ma leave a body or I'ma be a body. Right. I don't give a, I don't give, give a damn. You look like the rock. Right. You ain't grabbing me by my nuts. I'm trying to punch you, stab you, right. hit God. you with a bat. Right. Don't let me have a gun on me. Yeah. Right. Cause I'm emptying on your ass. Right. You know what I'm saying? Come on, you. There's just certain stuff you don't do. That's a violation. Mm -hmm. You get body for that. Right. Another man grabbing another man's uh, nuts and rod, man. Right. That's wicked as hell. Excuse me, sisters. 
Right, but Terry Crews, uh, they didn't turn around and make him look like the bad guy. Right. Put him in a pink suit jacket and make him jump up and down, talking about it's time to stop toxic masculinity. Right. So, nigga, you go from grabbing your ball, getting your balls grabbed by a homosexual white man to saying that men are too masculine. Right. Go figure. They, they done fuck <laughs> broke you. All right? So, uh, that's all, all from you big thinking you accepted by Esau. Right. All right, come on. This is First Chronicles. Chapter 15 and verse 16. And David spake to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be the singers with instruments of music, sorceries, and harps, and cymbals sounding by lifting up the voice with joy. Right. Uh, so basically, King David hired men of Israel that were singers and musicians. Like it says in Jeremiah 5 and 14, the Lord said, The word of my, out of my mouth is fire. Right? The book right. of Psalms is about music. You have musicians all throughout the Bible. Solomon even gathered singers, men and women that were musicians because we want to saw the earth, like the elder was saying. So you speak about a rap god, that's how a prominent East Edomite says. Always speak about killing, murdering, and slaughtering people. He had a song that's called Buffalo Bill, which he basically said the song described that he was slaughtering people wow. and putting cyanide in their bodies and everything and torturing them. And that's what he called Eminem. Right? But yeah, man, the man's a basically a demon, man. Mm -hmm. And rapping like a demon, make me king as we go towards a new world order. Right, right you said, you devil, we heard that. We heard when you said that, devil. All right, but no, it didn't work, man. You can never out-talent Jake. 